things you learn, you know, growing up on a ranch. Yeah. I had no idea what risk aversion was. You know, and I go yeah. to work for the state and I go, okay, we need somebody to hang from this helicopter. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll do it. Yep. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> so yeah. I'll bring that one up. I uh I said something like that when I was a brand new butter bar. I was like he was like uh hey uh just jump in the forklift and, and put him in the in the on the you know put an OSB board on and stand on the OSB board and lift it up and they're like sir we can't do that <laughs> like why not <laughs> that's not how the army works okay? we do it all the time we hang on to the grapple arms yeah. and yeah, just what make it happen to do as a safety issue what did you tell them to do well it was an idea like we needed to get something done so I was like hey just uh put some like OSB board or some plywood or something on top of the forks of the forklift and just oh. stand on that as a platform and then you can lift yourself up to where you need to be and they're like no I'm like okay <laughs> Hilarious. who told you no like the the sergeant oh yeah they were saving me for sure because that would have gotten me in big trouble <laughs> like no we're because, not doing that <laughs> because we bought we bought um some fork a forklift you know we got the um uh, plow for the tractor yeah. Well, we just bought we just bought also a forklift uh, attachment, and your mother was saying, "Yeah, we could just put down like some OSB board on that and lift everybody up, and we can do some work on the roofs." And so <laughs> I know where you get this from. <laughs> hey, make it happen, man. That's all it takes. Hey, it's all about the goal. And yeah. goal. And here's the thing too: like, there's a difference between saying like we're gonna do something like that and being stupid. And, and doing it and being like, hey, you know, the, we'll take the necessary precautions, but we're not just going to do this willy-nilly. Like, there will be a plan behind it, and we'll have safety. Right. Like, hey, right. somebody checking and watching you and stuff like that. But Yeah. And the bucket was safe because you put the grapple down and you got a cage. I mean, yeah, right? it wasn't too bad. The, the biggest thing I worried about was the ratchet. We, we ratcheted in the acetylene and the, and the oxygen. Oh, right. That, that was the most important thing. I think all of us were on the same page. We're like, we just don't want this thing moving. <laughs> no. No. All you got to do is release a bunch of acetylene and <laughs> just hit in the air, you know, yeah. and one tiny little spark and boom, she's all mm -hmm. gone. I've seen some crime photos you know, on some invest, you know, investigation schools that were like, ooh, a bottle of acetylene? In the back of a pickup with a topper, mm. leak, yep. and the guy went out, opened the door, and the dome light the inside light. the uh, deal went off. Went boom. Obliterated. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I was actually thinking about that the other day. I maybe it was I might have saw like a like a work pickup or something, and there maybe was it was your not furnace not working. That might have been it. Too. I don't remember. <laughs> but no, I I I was thinking about that. I was like, man, that's another thing. Like, just don't mess with gas. Yeah. Well, you can if you know what you're doing and it's safe. I mean, like, you know, 